Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? It's Oj. We're going to be covering the AMA, the Ask Me Anything from the Developers from Brawl Stars. There were 6,000 comments, and I sifted through all of those comments, and I dug through some nuggets, and I found 29 interesting questions. 29 things you need to know about Brawl Stars. So Samir asked, The teaming in Solo Showdown is getting worse and worse, in my opinion. Despite you guys a year ago saying that you're fine with teaming, What's your take on this? This is probably the longest answer that they answered in all of the entire AMA. Ryan replied back by saying, let's address your question since it's the biggest. Teaming and showdown. Big question, so we will have a big answer. First of all, we want to distinguish between a few types of teaming just to be sure we're on the same page. Sometimes in showdown, a couple brawlers may team up to better their odds against the others. At some point, they'll have to betray each other. Generally speaking, we're fine with that, and it's an interesting tactical decision to decide when to betray them. However, there's something entirely different going on at a very high trophy level. In these games, the matches are dominated by teams and you can't really succeed without spinning. We hear your feedback and that isn't fun. So, are we going to be fixing teaming? The answer is as complicated as the problem. First things first, we don't have a perfect solution in mind. If we could instantly improve the mode by changing something, then of course we would do that. But this magic solution eludes us. Instead, let's talk about some of your popular suggestions and our thoughts. One of the suggestions is to ban the teamers. This isn't a great solution. First of all, we're not sure if we can detect teamers with high enough degree of accuracy. If we ban spinners, then they'll just use a different signal. Shoot the wall, move left, move right. If we ban and players who are near each other but don't shoot for X amount of time, that can easily be overcome by just saying X tiles away from your teammates. Even if you could somehow be 100% accurate and with very fast with the bands, it just still feels very wrong. Ultimately, players are playing in the construct that we've built for them. Putting up artificial rules and then banning them is a very bad experience, and I agree with them for them. The other solution is to offer trophies for kills. That's kind of interesting. On face value, that sounds like it works. So they've said that we've thought about that quite a bit, and there are a few issues offering one trophy per kill. First and foremost, it really changes the strategy of the mode. It completely changes showdown. Surviving last would no longer be the goal of showdown and it would almost become meaningless in the final moments when there are only a few brawlers left. It'd also feel pretty bad to get kills stolen by other players. This would heavily favor certain brawlers who can get into the final shot rather than players who really earned that kill. So think like Piper, Brock, Penny, all of the snipers that get the last shots. That'd be super annoying if they just kind of camp the bushes and you're, you're Shelly and you're trying to get something else, but Piper just comes out of nowhere, steals your kill. I 100% agree with them. So in practice, they say it's a great idea, but it wouldn't work. It wouldn't have the intended effects to reduce teaming. Now, the third suggestion is to delete showdown. Oh my goodness, whose who's aggressive idea was that? This would be a nuclear option and we would have to avoid that if we can. 84% of players who have showdown unlocked play this mode at least once a week. That's quite a bit. So clearly the game mode is very popular. If you guys have any ideas on how to reduce teaming, they are all ears. They are always on the subreddit. Moving on to the second question. When you reach 10,000 brawlers, why are the ladder rewards so useless? 25 points for a brawler or 50 coins. Ryan says, we'll definitely improve on this at some point. So right now, I think they're working on the aesthetics of the game rather than the content of the game for now. I think they're going to go on to that later on in the game. For question number three, do you think there's any collaboration potential in the future of Brawl Stars like Thanos being in Fortnite? Something like Ghostbusters Pam or Star Wars Trooper Colt skin. That, those are really cool ideas. Do you think that could be a possibility in the future of Brawl Stars? Danny says that he personally thinks they're super cool. They have nothing planned in the moment, but they have the desire in the heart. Now, Danny is part of Supercell and his desire for it is very strong to get these cool skins. But the reality of things is that studios, Disney is known to be very strict about their IP. Even though it's a cool idea and Danny from Supercell loves these ideas, it's gonna be very hard for them to even consider like a Star Wars Trooper skin, almost impossible. Can you guys do something about coins? I have a ton and they are worthless when you have no more brawlers to max out or when you are waiting to unlock the new one. Now we have a lot of beta players that have 100,000 coins unlocked and there's nothing Thing you can do about it. Frank says that we are thinking about some solutions and already have a few ideas. There is some prerequisites that we need to take care of before and this is not their highest priority. Currently, 1-2% to of the players are in this situation, himself included. So it is something that he deals with, but he realizes even for himself it's not a priority because it's such a small pool to focus their efforts on that. You gotta keep in mind that the Brawl Stars team is what? A team of 15 or 20 developers. That's all they have together. Any chance you guys can add more wallpaper, background music, 
music for the main screen. Would love to unlock these things through the trophy count or through gems. Now they've had the Lunar New Year's music, they have the Clash Rail music, they have had all these different things and for them to change the background it's really easy, it's just one little icon. Frank says that he loves the idea and can tell by our changing background music for events that we are going that route. It's not a high priority and more on the nice to have side of things. There's also topics of file size limitations but yes, love it. So he loves it but file size limitation is huge. I think it's like something like uh, 100, maybe they even upped it to 200 megabytes now where you can download the game without using Wi-Fi and they're trying to keep it below that limit. As many features as they want to add, file size is a huge limitation. Will there be jump pads in Showdown? Frank says, since jump pads are a new element to the game, we want to start slowly. I believe we're going to see many maps with jump pads in the future. He saw some really cool showdown maps with jump pads with the little islands around somewhere. So he's pretty excited to test them out and maybe even implement them if they make sense for real gameplay. This is a very good question. How many boxes will it take to max out an account with the current amount of brawlers? And if you have one left to max out from level one to nine, how many boxes on average does that take? Really curious to hear from the creators. Frank says the first question is very very tough to answer due to probabilities. The second question is a bit easier, mainly because he personally opens up the boxes when there's new brawlers too. So when Gene came out, it took him 200 to 250 boxes to max out a new brawler if it's your only non-max brawler left. 200 boxes exactly, including star power. And he started at 500 boxes. Aramax, on the other hand, says that his experience was completely different. He maxed his account as soon as Gene was released, bought him with the offer, and it took 113 boxes to get him to level 9 without star power. He doesn't open the star power and he waits for it to show up in the store, so it's not worth it to open boxes for star power if you have so much gold at that point. Can we expect to see changes in the daily reward system and reworks in the shop? Ryan replies by saying they will be sprucing up the shop at some point in the future, but it's a big task and it's going to take them some time. Are you guys going to do something about improving the quality of the clubs? Danny says, not at this moment, but they do have one item that they want to revisit and discuss, and it's already on their list. So maybe the end of the year. Is there an interest in bringing activities or events that promote club teamwork like the Clan Wars and Clash Royale into the Brawl Stars? Ryan says, definitely there's interest, though they don't have any solid ideas nailed down yet. They've brainstormed this a lot and they want to hear ideas from you guys through submissions through the Brawl Stars subreddit. What's the point of joining a club besides to have friends and chat in one place? Ryan says at the moment there's not much, but they want to improve on that, maybe have new features that's gonna be really cool. How many brawlers are you guys going to add after Carl? Danny says that they don't have a fixed number but they want to release as much as they can. Just remember that they have to do a lot of testing so the goal is to release maybe two or three more after Carl this year but there's no promises for any more of that. As for Easter skins there are plans but it's a surprise so there looks like there's gonna be an Easter event. Confirmed! Loch Ness Meowster, an OG form moderator from way way back in the day. He's asking how often are you guys hoping to pump out new brawlers? So Frank has a completely different answer. He says December, they release Leon. February, they release Jean. March, Carl. April, question mark, the Easter Bunny. New brawlers keep the game fresh and exciting. We're quite happy with the current cadence. Cadence meaning the frequency in which it releases. It seems like their cadence is every month or every second month. So December, February, March, maybe April. But they won't go so far to say as that's the rule, that they'll have a new brawler every month. Sometimes it makes more sense to introduce other features into the game. If you look at Clash Royale, they used to release four new cards every update. Now there's, they've slowed down because when you first started Clash Royale, when it first came out in beta, there's what, 42 cards in the game, 42 or 46. But now there's almost 100 cards. It's insane hard to balance. There's so much variety. There are billions of permutations of different kinds of decks that you can make. And as you release more brawlers, it's going to be harder to balance the game. It's going to be harder to come up with different metas and all of these different strategies. So they will definitely have to slow down at some point or another to keep the game kind of balanced out without power creeping onto the newer brawlers. How many brawlers will you have in the final version of the game and why did you remove the lore? So number one, although there's a roadmap on where they want to be, building this game based on what we feel it needs so long as the community and the dev feel Feels that there's the need to add more brawlers, they'll continue releasing them. If they get to the point where the community begs to stop, maybe 300, they could focus on something else. 300 is really ambitious. He, you notice how he used the, the, the smiley X sign, meaning that he's kind of exaggerating. So 300 is going to be a lot. That's very ambitious. That's very hard to balance. I think 100 is going to be a really good number for them at the end game. As for lore, they want to add lore into the game again, and they're still working on it. So there's revamps. They went from space to cowboys to whatever this is. I don't know what it is, but they're working on it. Will Carl be launched in the middle of the month? Same as Gene. Danny says a bit later than that, but still in March. So not March 15th, but a little bit later than that. I would even say that they might even release this on the 22nd, just because it's a little bit later than the middle of the month. 
but the 22nd would be the weekend, maybe even the 21st. That's just my guess. You can say the word that will be associated with the next update. Frank replies, green. St. Patrick update confirmed. This one's a really big one. It makes me really excited. Are you going to remove the color names anytime in the future? Ryan says, probably not. Check out my color video if you guys want to change your name. That's cool because they removed it from Clash Royale really early on. It seems like the different developers have a different mindset and they're okay with it. In fact, the last update, they made the really bright fluorescent red names all like dull pastel colors. So it's not so out there. So I think they're, they actually made that into a feature. Do you guys have any plans on improving the current UI, like the brawler skin selection or the party menu chat system. Ryan says they definitely want to improve on those screens. However, it's a big job, so it's going to take them a long time. Is Gene or Crow getting a buff in the next balance update? Danny says Gene got a massive buff in the last update. Maybe it wasn't enough, but it seems like he's pretty close to done now. They're still analyzing the results of his latest buff to see what they can and can't do about it. As for regarding Crow, it's a bit of a tricky subject with his speed and damage over time. His attack buffs that might look small, could have a great impact on the game, but they love to hear from the community and they're always aware of these feedbacks. Nothing is concrete, but they are working on it. The second question that he asked, how did you guys manage to give an update within a month after release of the previous update? He says that they're focused on polishing a lot of the game right now. So once they have a firm structure, they're gonna be able to create as much content as possible. But for now, they're just polishing things up. They're bringing in new skins for different brawlers. Is a replay rework going to happen anytime soon, such as being able to review replays below 400 trophies in a brawler? Ryan says that we hope so the biggest stopper is the server space that requires this. Their replays are pretty much replaying a video, so it requires a lot of server load. When I was answering the questions in the survey in the Brawl Stars, there's some info about Battle Pass. If you guys don't know what a Battle Pass is, it's... Hey Ryan, do you know what a Battle Pass is? If you guys don't know what a Battle Pass is in Fortnite, it's basically you can get rewarded skins. So kind think like kind of like quests in Clash Royale. Ryan says that they don't have any concrete plans for this yet, but as always, they're always interested to hear what you guys think about this. They're a very receptive to feedback. This one's a very interesting question. What's your opinion on people accessing the game files early? Frank says, honestly, it's very annoying, but not avoidable right now. And they'd rather focus on new content for the community than on making it harder for people to figure out what's new in the game client. So it's not a priority. They're a small team and they're focusing on other features. They're, they wanna polish up the game. They wanna give you guys more content. Three questions. Night Witch, Mortis got a lot of hate. Frank says that he loves the idea of having a range of skins in the game from simply fun to super cool. He says you'll see us experimenting a lot with this. Night Witch Mortis is an interesting example. Some people thought they were going to recreate the Night Witch in Brawl Stars, which was never the intent. It's still Mortis. It's also interesting to see how the sentiment changed after it was released. He can says everyone in the team is 100% behind this skin, no matter how goofy it is. And judging from how many people purchase the skin with gems, they're not alone on this. So the Night Witch Mortis is staying. If you don't like it, delete the game. Second question, April update. Frank says he can't tell you. Third question, can we have a few scrap brawler concepts? Frank says that's an interesting one. They don't actually have scrapped brawler concepts. Everyone in the team can come up with brawler ideas and they're looking at Reddit a lot for this. Some ideas might not be implemented, but they are still in the drawer for the future. It's kind of like Clash Royale too, where we, we see a lot of different things that don't make it in. I think there was the Lava Golem and that actually evolved into the Ram Rider or something like that. I don't know. Ask Rumham. Will Tara ever get a remodel? This was asked so many times. The following brawlers are going to get reworks and polishes, so that's going to be Bo, Crow, Daryl, El Primo, Pam, Piper, and Tara. Frank, Jesse, and Penny are also going to see minor improvements. That's kind of cool to see that. Bo is a very high priority. He's got he's got that weird triangle going on there. And, and when he how does he shoot arrows without string? He just releases from his hand. Look, I'm Bo and I'm shooting. Nope, it just dropped to the floor because I don't have a string. So many questions, so many repeat ones. This time, Ryan's answering about the remodel. They do have a remodel for Bo in the works. They don't have an exact date, but they're more focused on Brawler coming later this month. Will you ever add a ping feature in the game as in be able to, to tap a certain location on the screen to set a marker to have better communication with your team? Ryan says that Apex did this very well. The one difficulty to overcome this is that your fingers are already really busy in Brawl Stars. You've got your two thumbs up and it's going to be difficult to create a system of doing this very effectively within a match. So it doesn't look like they have any plans for this yet unless you can kind of draw out how you want to play Brawl Stars with, I don't know, maybe like two thumbs and something like that. I know mobile Fortnite players use all their fingers and it's kind of weird 
It's asking for arthritis, man. <laughs> life leech. Life leech. Life leech. Why did you guys remove life leech? Ryan says that life leech was removed primarily because it breaks the core mechanics of the game. Showdown is now unlocked quite early for each player. 30 trophies, and this modifier is a big change to how Brawl Stars is played. It's confusing for new players to see themselves inexplicably lose health for no apparent reason. And 100% agree with that. It's very confusing. It's one of the few modes. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but when I first played it, I was scared. I was like, why am I losing health? And I ended up just avoiding that mode altogether. I'm sure if I played it more, I would enjoy it, but it is very strict metas. I would have had to be Piper in there. I would play it if it comes back, but I totally see why they removed it. It's confusing. Are you ever going to add some other type of biome and showdown besides the desert, city, forest, or something else? Frank says that over time, they will have additional environments. That's kind of cool. Maybe even like a post-war environment. Do you intend to dub brawlers in other languages or will their voices only be in English? Frank says that currently there's no plans to dub for other languages, one of the main constraints is mobile game file size. They like that Brawl Stars and their other games are as small as possible. Adding additional voices for multiple languages would increase the file size significantly. The amount of languages that they support, it would be way too much. I would not want to download a gigabyte of files on my phone just because it supports 20 other languages that I don't speak or understand. Clash Royale asked this, We think Night Witch Mortis and Wizard Barley are the best skins in the world. Will there be any more Clash Royale skins in the future? Future. Thanks, an unbiased fan. Clash Royale asking Brawl Stars themselves. I don't think Danny realized that this is the official Clash Royale account. He says, I don't really know, but I'll say yes. So if the team decides not to go with it, I can refer to my post and say, but I promised to the community already. Now it's too, and bam, Barb Primo is added. His serious answer is he doesn't know yet, but he loves them as much as the community does. So probably. Barb Primo sounds pretty sweet. Are you thinking of adding additional skins like for Easter or Halloween? Danny just says yes. Oh, I love limited skins. Limited. Hope you guys enjoyed this video it took me hours to find all of the answers that they had and at least sift through all the relevant ones through all of the questions and everything that they answered thanks for watching and stay tuned for more quality oj